why you snuck up on me. Here I am working in my art journal. And speaking of art journals, today we're going to be doing uh, art journal prompts. And we're going to get started with that right away. Hey, before we get started, I wanted to thank you so much for all your subscriptions and your comments. They are just fabulous, and I know there are several of you that are beginning art students. You're just starting out, and you have lots of questions. Believe me, I learn new things every day in the studio, so your question is not a silly question. It's not a dumb question. I love your, your uh, questions, so thanks again. We really appreciate it. And today we're going to talk about uh, art journal prompts. And there are millions of prompts out there. You can go on Pinterest or you can Google it and get um, art journal prompts. You know, there, there's tons of them. All different kinds of things. Your favorite shoes, your favorite drink, your, you know, blah, blah, blah. It goes on and on. But today I wanted to talk about three that I use in the studio all the time that I think that you will really, really enjoy. Um, I, I, never, I never tire of them. They, they have tons and tons of resource available to them. And they are word, music, and image. So we're going to talk about those right now. So all three of them, word, image, and music, are all arts in and of themselves. As artists, we use image all the time. Um, writers write books and create magnificent pieces of writing with word. And of course, music we know moves our souls and our hearts, and it's so evocative. And today, we're going to talk about word a little bit differently than just picking out a word like believe or trust or something like that. We're going to talk about using the words that you write. Um, and using poetry, um, we're going to talk about a few different things. And so I have um, this journal page that I wanted to share with you about using poetry in your work. So this is a spread that I did um, some years back, 2009, uh, December of 2009. And uh, this was right after my brother had died. And I, it was uh, the... Uh, the spread is about winter, and I'm not just talking about the physical winter, I'm talking about the winter of the heart, and um, about um, robins coming back, and about there being a sense of hopefulness. And the poem that I used says, the heart asks pleasure first, and then an excuse from pain, and then those little anodynes that deaden suffering and then to go to sleep, and then, if it should be, the will of its inquisitor, the liberty to die. So using poetry, um, using words, and I wanted it to be just a small part because it was, to me, expressing this whole piece, and yet this sense of hopefulness at the bottom um, for a new day to dawn. Okay, this is a spread that I did um, in 2011 and and it's about the future it's about looking toward the future um, and the words that I used in this I just I just decided to write my own poetry and to string words together and what came to me was floating softly falling down landing hardly on the ground and I was thinking about the softness of feathers and about the softness of us walking through the future about walking through with an open heart and um, I, I love the way it came out. Words are absolutely everywhere. Everywhere you look, you see words. Um, uh, doesn't, it can be an ad. It can be uh, a, a magazine uh, uh, image. It, it can be even you know, a, on a tea bag. The, this, this spread that I created in 2010 um, is based on this little tag, and it says, there is pleasure in the pathless woods. And so that's what this, this spread was about and about um, the, um, the pleasure that you take in being outside. And I just stuck it there um, on my spread to, re to remind me about the pleasure that there is in, in going out into um, the forest and being, you know, just forest bathing and enjoying the beauty of the forest. Um, and about how your dreams come true when you allow nature to lead you. 
Um, so finding words everywhere, little scraps of paper on the ground, and allow that to be your springboard in your journal prompt. I've got my videographer working overtime today, moving the camera back and forth for you. The second one is music, and I know everyone has used, uh, almost everyone, if you haven't used lyrics, um, song lyrics that, that touch you in your journaling, um, then try it and do it. But, um, but we're going to move past that, and we're going to talk more about expressing how music makes us feel rather than using the words, but, but using the way the music um, moves our soul and leads us to a new place. So this was done in July of uh, 2012, and I was listening to some um, very melancholy um, music, some um, classical music. And it, this, uh, I, I created this post um, after I, it was a, a particularly um, difficult June. Um, and so I was creating this spread after that. And the, the melancholia of the music uh, just moved me, and, and I, I was, I was, um, I was moved to stitch this heart, and um, I just allowed the music to take me um, where it wanted me to go. Um, and I still feel that there's a, a wonderful sense of, of hopefulness in this, but it also sh talks about the time and the sense of time moving. And, um, and so music just moving the heart along. So we're, we're still talking about music and we're talking about just allowing music without words or um, you can use jazz music, you know, you can use um, uh, new age music, you could use classical music. But in this instance, I was listening to holiday music. This was at um, during December of 2015. This, this uh, spread was featured in Somerset Apprentice, um, which is a Stampington zine. And um, just, just using what was on my desk just bricolage of the moment and um, cutting up an, an old um, an old floral um, print and just 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 not really paying attention to what I was doing just allowing the music to just flow and to just kind of flow onto the page so so try opening up to to that so we're still talking about music and we're talking about using um, abstract work and uh, mixed media is so perfect for uh, creating abstract work. And this piece is, um, is also um, listening to music. And um, this piece is, was a, a there was a, a slow um, um, kind of melancholy jazz piece on there. And the reason I'm not giving you the titles and what I'm using is because I want you to find your own. I want you to look for your own pieces. But this, at the bottom I had written, Music Frees the Soul. And so I was thinking of this, you know, butterfly um, being able to just fly free and just, just the beauty around me and, and looking at it in lots of different places. And um, this reminded me of, of a kiosk with lots of information on it and, uh, and just, um, just letting that music set you free. The last one is image. And as with the others, you can use this over and over and over again. There's so many things you can do with image. And let me show you what I mean by that. Image. You can use any kind of image that you find. Find it and then manipulate it. Take, uh, take anything. Take a photograph. Take a, a piece of, of, from a magazine, some image from a magazine. Um, take your own photographs, which is what I love to do, and I did in this spread. This was in November of 2009, and I was basically illustrating a dream. So we're using image and images that we have and transforming them by creating transfers on paper. All of these are transfers. And, um, and illustrating a dream that I had about going to Taos and being there. And when I woke up, it felt so great and it was so beautiful in my mind that I wanted to illustrate that in, in my journal and that's what I did. So think about um, using images to create, to illustrate your dreams um, and to, uh, to open up a brand new possibility. One of the things I like to do is to use an image um, that represents me. And I used this Leonardo image and completely changed her. It was called Makeover and this was uh, published in Pasticcio magazine. 
and I was thinking about how I wanted to uh, start giving thought to letting my hair grow naturally white and what that would look like. And so I just created this makeover. These are stitches and these are stones, actual uh, beads and things um, on her. And uh, I love the way it came out. But think about finding different images to use that can represent you and then manipulating them and changing them in some way uh, for your art journal work. Focusing on yourself again, I recommend finding uh, photographs that remind you of you and then manipulating them and using them in your work to represent you as a personal self-portrait. So I found this girl who was wearing a Catholic school uniform. Uh, I ripped off her head and the rest of her body uh, and then stitched her down and uh, created this spread that says, I'm an artist, I'm a bit weird, and I'm probably a bit eccentric. I love this post. This was uh, this or this um, spread this was featured in Somerset Apprentice and uh, try it and see what you think create your own uh, personal um, self-portrait well we're almost at chow for now I just wanted to give you one more tip about it and that is to use the seasons and I know people um, often do that but what I wanted to uh, remind you is for word prompts, you can use words that remind you of the season. Use gratitude, joyful, hopeful, peaceful for summer. Um, and then the other thing with music is, you know, use holiday music to uh, really set the mood. You don't have to write the lyrics down, you don't have to write a word down, but allow the, mu the music to just move you. And then the last thing is with image, make sure you use wrapping papers and all kinds of images that perhaps you haven't thought about. Um, and just to open up your mind to new and different possibilities. So that's it for today. Um, can't wait to see you next time. And we're going to be doing um, <laughs> we're, we're going to be doing uh, mixed media again. We're going to be doing backgrounds again. I think this is part four. You know how I am about counting, though. But I'm sure you'll find all the others um, in with on our channel. So until then, ciao for now. Bye.